used car prices are going up again. Why? It's tax season. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with Amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. I agree that tax season is one of the dumbest reasons known to mankind for a price increase, but that's just dealer greed at work. And there's no doubt that news of increasing car prices is a bit unsettling for many people right now. Yes, and this time it has nothing to do with the supply shortages like we experienced over the past two years. Tax jingle in your pockets is a reason for price increases? Give me a break. A surprise jump in used vehicle prices last month is adding to U.S. car buyers' frustration and has the potential to dent hopes inflation is headed lower even as the Federal Reserve hikes interest rates. Used car demand supply spiked in January, increasing wholesale values at auction as well as used car prices on lots. Wholesale values saw an increase of 2.5% from December to January, according to data from Cox Automotive, which is the highest jump from one month to another since the end of 2021. The sudden jump in demand is likely a result of used car prices cooling off, which led to buyers taking advantage of lower prices temporarily, which is now sending prices back up again. You see, folks, as many of you flood the car lots, you're telling dealers you're all too happy to pay those sky-high prices and you just want, want, want that new-to-you ride. If you have extra tax return dollars in your pocket, hold on to them and let the market move outside the influences of tax season. Even the news media is pitching in to paint the higher price expectation for their car selling advertisers like viewer Greg Schultz reports, prices are up at auction sales from Mannheim was on our news today. Feeding your own appetite to spend money creates self-inflicted disasters, and I might add a recipe for lifelong unhappiness. The moment those big fat payments come due, the excitement of driving that new ride starts wearing off, and you curse your bad luck. You regret your impulsive decision, but now it's too late. Your tax dollars are spent, there's no jingle in your pocket, and that tax return money that looked so juicy is suddenly gone. Aww. It's really sad for us to witness and to report on this, but to be completely frank and honest, the last thing we're trying to do is help everyone. Why? Because we are fully aware that so many people don't really care and are beyond any kind of help. They aren't here to get an education because they don't want to get smarter. The data from Cox Mannheim Auto Auctions and Used Vehicle Value Index shows that prices are still down overall, but they're inching their way back up during this tax season. The used car market burst last year after a long boom period as prices plummeted by 15%. The market is reportedly now stabilizing to pre-pandemic levels, characterized by steady inventories and prices below the pandemic's record high. You see the tiny blip at the end of this Mannheim graph? That's nothing and clearly not a sign from God that you should be out <laughs> car shopping. The latest figures from December put the average price of used cars at 27,143, an average monthly payment of 570. That's down from an average 28,205 last summer in July. The figures from January will show an uptick given the surprise upward trend in prices and demand per Bloomberg. But really, it's not so much a surprise as a logical consequence of the pendulum swinging back the other way as oh, yeah. used car prices go up, sales go down. And then as used car prices go down, sales go up. After the mild bump in prices from January, prices are still around 12.8% lower than previous record high levels, which Bloomberg refers to as inflated. In inflated that, indeed. Yeah, in that sense, used car prices are still down, but now that wholesale values are up, retail prices are also on the rise. Stephen Scher, Chief Executive Officer of Hertz Global Holdings, Inc., said the company saw a big jump in prices over the past five weeks, both at auction and in used cars sold at retail. Hello, I'm Mary Jo from the Homework Guide team. Don't Kevin and Elizabeth do a great job? We are so proud of every show our team puts out, carefully researched for accuracy, and designed to help car buyers just like you. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell so you get notifications of upcoming shows. Thank you for listening. And by the way, if you haven't already noticed, check out the light pattern on the ceiling. Pretty cool, huh? Hertz sells one quarter of its fleet vehicles through its own dedicated retail channel and online retailer Carvana company, Cher said. Cars sold via those channels captured 5% to 7% premium over auction prices, he said, adding the company is selling all of its cars for more than book value. Cher said in an interview, the snapback over the last four weeks has been pronounced. There is clear stability and more of an uptick. Many people are now returning to the used car market, which is clear from the sales figures at retail. Month-over-month month sales were up 16% in January compared to December, and sales were also up year-over-year year by 5% when compared to sales from January 2022. 
Market analysts expect 2023 to end with lower prices overall, but the used car bubble seems to be showing some resilience recently with the emergence of tax season. Where that will put Carvana and other retailers is still unclear, but at least the company has something to look forward to the next few weeks, what with all the sales fetching more than book value, as Bloomberg noted. With some of the worst advice that I have ever read, and coming from a bank at that, autobank.com advises in their article, tax season is one of the best times to buy a car for many reasons. Tax returns aside, auto dealers and buyers alike use this time to take advantage of a new tax year and a temporary increase in cash flow. Wow. What a pile of crap that yeah. is. Dealers this year are taking advantage, all right, by jacking up the prices of their cars because you the buying public are likely to have some extra tax return jingle in your pocket and they're out there waiting for you. But everyone wants to know when car prices will go down and sometimes the wisdom for those answers are right in our comment section. Like our viewer Carol asks, when will the new car prices go down? Viewer Kevin, not this Kevin, said, after June most likely tax season is right now. Feds will increase the loan rates, lowering buyers in the summer and this will trigger deals. But I will wait till the end of the year sales. We agree. I think this Kevin, our viewer, has it right. Way to go, Kevin. If you happen to be one of the people who threw caution to the wind in recent months and bought a car no matter how high the prices were, here are even more words of wisdom from our viewer, Jonathan Taylor. He is spot on. He writes, all the factors that cause prices to skyrocket are reversing. Supply was down due to lockdowns. That's easing. Demand was up due to stimulus and low rates. That's over. 3% depreciation per month turns a $40,000 car into a 27.5K car in a year. That's going to wreck people who have no money down and even financed in the sales taxes. I agree. What a huge mistake that yeah. is. When some of these people lose their jobs, repossession is the only outcome. They can't sell without having 10K cash to get out. This will feed off itself as repos increase supply and wreck credit eliminating these people as buyers. Yeah. The new car market competes with the used car market as buyers for new cars dry up, manufacturers and dealers will cut prices, which will put even more downward pressure on used cars. People are going to owe $35,000 on $12,000 cars. <laughs> this will take another 12 to 18 months to really blow up, but it's coming. Indeed, it most certainly is, friends, and it will get very ugly for some of you that pulled the trigger during the time prices were high. I hope this information was enough to convince all of you to sit on the sidelines this tax season and hold on to your precious tax return money. If you do, I guarantee that soon enough, you'll save lots of money on car prices. I'd also like to take a moment to alert our newest viewers that you can check us out on Facebook. Please drop by, give us a comment on a post and a like and a follow. And don't forget to visit our website too, thehomeworkguy.com. When you get there, scroll down the main page to find tons of free downloads designed to help you get through the car buying process without getting ripped off. It's loaded up with these free resources for car buying viewers, and we now offer a blog post there too for those of you who like to read. If you wish to show us some love with a tip, there's a super thanks button down below the video, and there are links for tips in the description box. You can easily find them by clicking on the Read More button seen below. All right, if you're new here at the Homer Guy channel, as Mary Jo said, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Join our fast-growing group of subscribers and become a part of our family. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. And to all of our faithful subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.